Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Better Effects with Blend Modes using Final Cut Pro 10. Now, so far, we've looked at blend modes from the point of view of adjusting text, but we can also use blend modes when we're combining one image with another. Here, for example, is a really good uh, idea. This is an old barn in a wheat field in front of the Grand Teton Mountains. Spectacularly lovely place. And if you look at this shot and you brought it home, you'd say, that is just a wonderful shot, but we can do stuff to make it better. Look at how kind of wishy-washy the sky is and the mountains are. Now, it's not overexposed, but I'm really not enhancing the detail in the clouds. And the barn is there and the wheat is there, but the wheat feels a little bit lifeless. Let's see if we can't punch this up some. This is an effect that was discovered years and years ago by a very famous photographer named Ansel Adams called the Grad Filter. Notice how this is a gradient. I created it inside Photoshop. We can create it inside Final Cut. You'll learn how in a minute. And it shades from pure black at the top to pure white at the bottom and smoothly scales across every shade of gray in the middle. So far, the gradient fully blocks the screen. It's the exact same size as my project. If I select the gradient, go up to the inspector, go down to compositing, and change this from normal, which means like a regular clip, to overlay. Watch what happens in two, one, poof. Now look at that. Look at the detail we pulled out of the sky. Look at how the wheat is now just jumping off the screen. This is our original image. This is what happens after we applied that gradient. Notice how the sky has got a much richer shading before and after, before and after. The barn essentially remains untouched, but the foreground is really bright and vibrant and rich. Well, we can also use this to fix problems. Take a look at this shot here. The sky really kind of missing in action. Foreground kind of dark. The background way too hot. The exposure on this is not under control at all. So let's go to our gradient filter. Select the gradient filter. Go down to compositing. Change this to overlay. And look how we started here. And we ended up here. Look at how we brighten that whole foreground, brighten the fun of the barn, added blue sky and detail to the clouds, and pulled down that background so it's not overwhelming anymore. A very simple thing to do to make a material difference in the shot. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at better effects using blend modes inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 122. Membership is a great value, especially when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 700 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any Power Up webinar for free. Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.